A lot of people ask what Crosshair I use. Definitely my favorite one I've used is Crosshair X on Steam. It's four dollars. Has a lot you can uh, choose from. Uh, right here. You can make your own if you want to. It's pretty cool. Uh, if you use exclusive mode in Rust, you're going to have to follow these steps, though, to use it. If you don't want to spend the $4, you can just go to this website. I'll have it in the description. You just want to click this download link. And you also want to download a crosshair you want to use. Uh, you can just search this, for example, to find one. A lot of these would work. So after you have the crosshair and the application downloaded, you're going to want to drag this folder onto the desktop and you're going to want to make a new folder to put your crosshair in. I'm just going to call it crosshair. So now you just open the application and you're going to see a Coca-Cola emblem pop up in the bottom right. And if you click this up arrow, you're going to see custom desktop logo down here. So basically you can right click it, go to settings, and you can change the image. You want to select the crosshair folder you just made, and it will change to the green dot. So after that, you want to go to location, you want to change it to center, and you want to make sure both X and Y is on zero. It doesn't really matter about the monitor, uh, you're supposed to do primary. The size, you can make it whatever. Opacity, you can make it as see-through as you want it. Um, yeah, that's basically it. You might have to play in borderless to have it show up in Rust. That's the only downside. Uh, so if you play stretch, you might have to stretch your whole desktop. That's the only downside to this program. But with Crosshair X, you can use exclusive. So. If you have a problem with the mouse being stuck on the crosshair, just right click and click drop folder mode and it should fix the problem.